Hey, how you doing, my friends in Twitch land? How are you doing? Uh, it's been a while. I, uh, <clears throat> I decided to hop in and uh, see if anybody was on the old, uh, uh, what you call it? So, uh, <clears throat> You know, seeing what's going on. Um, maybe somebody will pop in and chat. I don't know. <clears throat> we will certainly see. I don't really feel like playing. I've been playing my games off of uh, what you call it lately. Um... So, been doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see who pops in. Right now, I think I'm streaming. It's just, uh... <clears throat> On my end, it's sucking. It's just the weather is so bad. I I uh, I kind of decided to uh, I decided to do a stream. So. Uh, You know, hey Stony, how you doing? I don't really feel like playing. It. I've been playing games online lately, but uh, <clears throat> doing my YouTube and such shows. I don't have any, but I don't even know. I guess it's, uh, is this streaming? <laughs> I'm guessing it is because the Twitch side is pretty much just non-existent. I got to refresh it. It's like non-existent. It's frozen. Which is, you know, pretty much, uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, there we are. Yeah, I don't expect many people to come in, even though people kept asking me to do a Twitch stream. But then again, uh, they asked me to do a YouTube stream, and half the time they don't come in, so... Um. Yeah, I, I'm I'm focusing on YouTube, but you know what? I'm thinking about this more and more, and I'm like, well, I I love YouTube, of course, but hey, I've been affiliated on Twitch for a year, and I haven't made any money yet off of Twitch, <laughs> mainly because no one watches it. So I got to put enough effort onto this uh, versus the other one, and. Uh, Plus, I have no idea what day it is half the time anymore. Um, uh -oh, where to do? Oh. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, yeah, running this sucker st through uh, StreamYards. Seeing what's what. But I don't share this out everywhere I can think of, but um, I don't know. I'll tell you what, though, I haven't streamed in about what two or three weeks, and I got I got the same person follow me three times in a row. Now that's got to be an unfollow follow thing. And then there's this screen name with the same person three or four times in a row. That's got to be spam right there. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, we'll take it with a grain of salt because 
anybody that pops in is fun. I just wish that uh, Twitch would get rid of the damn bots. And if the bots, if the bots actually counted, I'd be cool with that. I wouldn't care. But, you know, they sit your chat. You tell them, get the F out the chat, and they don't listen to you. They just sit there like a moron. They don't contribute because they're bots, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, no. let me, uh, let me get this damn ad out the way so I can start coughing. Oh, I see, I jump on stream, I'm not coughing. Before stream, I'm not coughing. I jump on stream, I can't stop coughing. So, I'm gonna run this ad. I'll be back. <coughs> Oh, shit. So, yeah. I need to drink some coffee. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Why is this telling me? How come I got five people in my chat and I'm looking at this thing and it says one? It is is Twitch becoming YouTube? <laughs> uh, is Twitch becoming YouTube as far as screwing people over? <laughs> Because I don't know. Yeah, apparently they are. Well, I always have to re-edit everything. I'll put in NCAA football, and it'll, it'll always default the podcast. Even after I end the stream, no matter what I put. See, I had to do just chatting. After this stream's over, it'll change my topic to podcast. <clears throat> and then it'll break my then it'll break my break it down into like two separate sections. And I'm like, why does it do that? I've I've emailed Twitch about this, and you know, they're just as good as YouTube. They don't respond to you. You think they would because I'm affiliated. You think I actually I'm not big enough for them to <clears throat> shit. I swear. I'm not big enough for them to uh you know. But, uh, yeah, usually around this time I'd be doing my YouTube stream, but I'm um, on YouTube today. I'll go back on it tomorrow. I was kind of sick last week, so I didn't do much of YouTube. Uh, although I did a weird, I did a couple of short videos and got it like 3,000 views on it. So, for 16 bad. Yeah, last weekend I was feeling like shit. Just, I don't know. I get burnt out on things. Like, people were asking me, where you been? I, easily, I got burnt out on Twitch. I mean, the last two streams I did, I did a three-hour stream, and I'm talking to myself the entire time. I mean, what? The, I mean, like, what the hell? Yeah, I apologize for the coughing. I don't know why I'm coughing. So... Uh, well, YouTube takes away views. They can't count. They don't want to pay you. You know, they don't want to pay you. That's the sad part. They just don't. I've had a few friends that don't Twitch anymore. They got pissed because of the last, uh, whatever. Uh, I don't know. They're actually, they're starting to build an Amazon warehouse in my city. <clears throat> like about two miles down the road. And, um. My goal is when it opens in 2022 to get hired there because they start you off at 15 bucks an hour. So, 
And people say, oh, Amazon's the evil empire. Well, you know, all these big companies are, you know, trust me, I worked for the evil empire. It's called Walmart. Amazon cannot be worse than Walmart. I, I, I just can't see that. I can't. <clears throat> I mean, maybe. I don't know the situation, but um, that's what I'm trying to do. Just hook me on to a job and then, um, you know, bide my time and then hopefully get hired at the Amazon warehouse and work there as long as I freaking can because I, I know realistically I'm not going anywhere on Twitch. I'm not going anywhere on YouTube. I know this. I, I'm not. I, 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 hey, Stamos, how you doing? Stamos, by the way, is the only person that follows me on YouTube and Twitch that actually is here. Uh, but um, I know I'm not going to be anybody big. I, I get that. I um, I understand that. You know, I, I wish I could be like, uh, I don't have the what you call it. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the what you call it. Hell, I don't even. Hey, I, I can do. I, I I got a stream off of this through what you call it, but um, uh, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day, uh, I'll um. I'll get a billion dollar donation from Twitch and then, hey, I'll buy all the equipment and actually become somebody. <laughs> <clears throat> right? Who knows? Um, yeah, too bad I ain't a woman. <laughs> Women got the advantage. All they got to do is show their tatas and, hey, they're millionaires. I mean, Kim Kardashian recently became a billionaire from a sex tape, basically. So, yeah. Um, nah, I ain't that tall. <clears throat> uh, tall enough. Yeah, Kim Kardashian had a sex tape years ago. And nobody knew who she was before. You know, she did her business and uh, made her a millionaire. Now she's a billionaire 20 years later because of it or whatever, you know. So, um, yeah. There's a channel I follow on here. She's been on here three, three months and she's got something like six million subscribers. I'm like, well, you know, I'm telling you. I keep telling people on YouTube that all these women that can't figure out how to get monetized. I'm like, you know, go to the beach, get in the bikini, shake your ass a few minutes and voila, you'll be monetized in two minutes. I, I'm just sorry. It's just, you, you just will be. So, Uh, there we go. I had to cough again. But, um, yeah. So, that's, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, Samuels, it, it definitely is. Uh, that, that is a good thing, yes. So, uh, um, but yeah, women got it made, you know. <clears throat> All of these. Well, some women, from what I read, can do get do show stuff on Twitch and don't get banned, and others do get banned for for stupid stuff. So I I don't I don't know. Maybe they got unwritten rules too. Well, there you go. You hold it and don't let it go. <clears throat> Hold it like a willy. <laughs> Don't let that sucker go. Yeah, no. Um, Don't let her go. Um, 
but uh, yeah, it's just um, let's see, wait. Hmm. Okay. He sent me a Judge Judy pick. Where the hell is Stax? Where is Stax? Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Well, go make one. Who the hell's stopping you? I ain't nobody stopping you. No. Stoney's got yeah. Well, well, you already got Miss Stoney, so you you're, you're taken care of there. But um, there he is. I was just mentioning. I said, "Where the hell is Stacks?" <laughs> I said, "Where the hell is he?" No, I didn't do a stream yesterday because of the rain. It was too the the weather was so bad I couldn't get online yesterday. <clears throat> Weather's bad outside now. It's been raining every day here except for like two days ago, except for what Tuesday. Six out of the last seven days, we've been under tornado warnings, hail storms, uh, shit. The entire state. It's like it's rained so much. I I, I actually think it's rained. Ah, you're only 17. Shit. You know. You know, hell. <clears throat> but yeah, wait until you're about 47 before you start popping them kids. Uh, you know, you start making them kids. <laughs> um. And uh, when he streamed, you know, I, I just hadn't really been active too much on the uh, YouTube land. I mean, not the YouTube, the Twitch land. Yeah, see, my internet's kicking in and out right now because uh, of the weather. So I'm kind of chancing at doing a stream right now. <clears throat> so if it kicks off, if it kicks out in and out, that's why it's storming out there now. It's been storming like every. Freaking day. Uh, post a storm tomorrow, too. They, they said maybe even Sunday. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know why to ask. I'm coughing all of a sudden. Um, lag? If there's a lag, I can't do it. Uh, yeah, no, it's raining. The only day it didn't rain was uh, Wednesday, and it was partly cloudy that day. It's rained every day since last Saturday. Uh, yesterday, my power was out for about. Uh, it kept. It went out for. Yesterday, the day before, it went out for about two hours. Um. A couple of days before that, it went out for about an hour. It's just, it kicks in and out. <clears throat> so I don't know why. Um, of course, when I lose my power, I lose my internet because I can't get on the goddamn internet. I can't on my phone, but uh, it doesn't, I tried to get, I tried to do Twitch on my phone and it won't let me for whatever reason. Uh, it gets, it gets all the way to the point where it lets me put my password in and I can get on my account. And I can watch people on my phone, but it won't let me stream off my phone for whatever reason, which is something I want to test just for the hell out of it because it works on YouTube. But I got to get another phone because that phone doesn't pick up Wi-Fi anywhere. I could be in McDonald's parking lot. It'll connect and tell me I can't get on. Uh, I think I figured out why, but I don't know. But uh, one of these days I'll get a new phone. I don't know when. <clears throat> the weekend. 
It is the weekend. It's called Friday. It's called Shake Your Ass Day. All right. Me some strippers in here. I don't know where they at, but uh, I, 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 I don't tell you what. The YouTube uh, platform, <clears throat> the uh, algorithm, be right back in two hours. I don't think my ass is going to be on here in two more hours. I got a voice that's gonna might not last an hour. Uh, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll put this on the YouTube land. Um, I don't really know if it counts when I take Twitch things and put it on YouTube. Does it count towards YouTube? I don't know. <coughs> Shit. I don't know if it does or not. Some people says it does. Some says it don't. I don't know. But I actually get more playbacks. Listening to it on uh, YouTube from doing a Twitch stream sometimes. Um, yeah, we need to get rid of this bad weather. It needs to go somewhere else. I don't care. Let it go to Mexico or Guam or I don't know. Go s we don't need any more rain. <clears throat> we don't need no more rain. I mean, I think I've actually had like 27 inches of rain in the last three days. I got my swimming pool. I mean, I don't have a swimming pool, but if I had one, I could make one. My backyard's basically like a swimming pool. So, I mean, it's got the pump back there and shit, so I could. <clears throat> I don't know if that pump still works. Probably not. Probably been there since the 70s. Who the hell knows? <laughs> but, um, but I did a, a, a YouTube short trying to figure out the algorithm because sometimes I'll post shorts and I got no idea what flies and what doesn't fly. And um, I was just like, well, I'm going to just take my Super Mario Kart and put it up at the screen and see what happens. And for the first day, I think I had like 20, 27 views. And then last night for about four hours, and only four hours, it went from 27 to 3.2K views in four hours. And then nothing. Now, my previous shorts would gain over two, three, four days worth. So I don't know. Uh, but I noticed it takes at least 24 hours for a short to get into the algorithm to actually work properly before they pick it up. So this morning, <clears throat> so this morning, I did a, uh, I did my Super Mario 3 cart. And um, that's got about 20, 22 views. So yeah, I've actually gained, I'm looking at the analytics on this thing now. I got... 3,191 views for this Mario 16 seconds short. And all I did was just zoom in on the damn game. That's it. I was going to say, it's me, a Mario. But I didn't want to get copyrighted. Shit. Well, hopefully they don't copyright that. But now I got almost 10 hours of watch time on that and 10 subscribers. <clears throat> but the thing is, I got all the views in a four-hour period. Uh, 4 to 5 p.m., I got 887, then I got 376 the next hour, 1100 the next hour, exactly, and then 783 from 7 to 8. And ever since 7 to 8, I've got nothing. In those four hours, I got 3,000 views. But the ironic thing is I had something like 42 dislikes. Uh, but right now, YouTube can't figure out their likes and dislikes. They got a proportion. Like, if you hit the like button... It's starting to go dislike for whatever reason. It's a screwball thing. <clears throat> so uh, I had 42 dislikes. And looking at it right now, I only got 31 dislikes. So, hey. But uh, I'm running out of ideas for shorts, basically. 
So I'm just said, hell, I'm going to throw it at the wind. But I got 161 likes and 31 dislikes on a 16-second video. And I, I've shown Mario before. I've shown this game before. Uh, you know, so, um, so I did the Super Mario 3 shorts this morning. Same thing, same premise. Screened it up close where it got to Mario's face. And that's pretty much, that hasn't hit the, um, <clears throat> it hasn't hit the uh, shorts yet because it's only got 23 views. So, <clears throat> excuse me, probably tonight or tomorrow, maybe it'll pick up. I don't know. I did a video. I thought I did a funny video or a rock. And it only got like 30 views. So things like, I didn't expect this thing. I, I was just going to do it and said, all right, fine. I'll get like 25 views. I literally went to sleep, took a nap. And this sucker went from like 27 views to like three, two, 2.7K in four hours. And I went, what? I shit my pants. I was like, are you, are you crap. Yeah. There's one thing about that. I don't have any cats. Uh, I used to have cats long ago before the age of YouTube. I don't have any cats. <clears throat> don't know. My, the only person I know that's got cats, I don't go to a house. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to film my cousin's dog doing this trick because my cousin's dog would do this trick where if you lit a firework and threw it in the air, the damn dog would jump up in the air like a squirrel and bark. And then try to catch the firework before it blows up. And um, But uh, sadly, the damn coyotes, what we think, and what my cousin thinks is the coyotes took that dog off one night. And uh, poof, that sucker disappeared. But uh, I, I, had, I had an idea to do that. Because <clears throat> there's, a, there's a YouTube channel that did that. And she got like 600,000 views. And that's all she does now is dog videos. But the videos only get like 40 views. And she's like, I can't understand why that one got blah, blah, blah. I'm like, because nobody wants to see the same dog over and over and over do the same shit again. You know. Um, yeah, but I can borrow a cat. No one around here has got cats. Everybody's got dogs. Um, yeah, if I had a cat, I'd, I'd show the damn thing. Um. But yeah, I tell you what, if I wake up in the morning and I see this Mario Brothers got another three, four thousand views, yeah. So oh, but three thousand almost three thousand two hundred views, it's got me ten watch hours, which is basically the equivalent of me doing a live stream. <clears throat> which is why I didn't feel like doing YouTube today. Uh I just said, well, I'm gonna do you know, I'm gonna post this on YouTube. But I I don't know if it counts toward watch time on YouTube or not. I was I'm not really clear on that. Never really been clear. Some people said yes. Some people said no. Uh, you know, Twitch don't keep your videos. After two weeks, they delete them. If you pay for it, it's sixty days or ninety days, and they still delete it. Uh, but I've seen where clips of games are on here two, three, four, five years. So I don't understand all of that. I, I don't even understand the YouTube rules. So how am I going to understand Twitch rules? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I had 42 dislikes on YouTube on that one video. And that's 31 dislikes. So I have set a record on that one video for views, likes, and dislikes. And I probably would have set it for comments. But... YouTube, when you post a video, they automatically keep turning your comments off for the first 30 minutes, hour, two hours. And I've re returned my comments on 15 times. And they keep turning them off, you know, so I probably would have had 100 comments, probably. <clears throat> but when you watch a short on YouTube, it's really weird. Because I've done some on my phone. Um, but... I, I I don't know what makes the algorithm tick. I don't know what picks it up. But uh, you know what? I'm good. 
I'll take the views. I'll take the watch time because I need the watch time. So, um, yeah. So if y'all haven't seen it, it's Super Mario Brothers slash Duck Hunt Shorts. I did two videos this morning, so it's from two days ago. That's a 16-second video, just like the Mario Brothers video is. Um, I probably could put it on YouTube. I mean, I you know, you know, it's if I could figure out a way to, to post it for my phone, I'll post it on uh, Twitch. You know, I don't I don't know if it'll do anything. I, I'm not really sure how when somebody watches your replays how it counts or anything. So I, I'm not sure of that. But uh, I'll, uh, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll, I'll I, you know, I, I should take all my old gaming posts that weren't on Twitch. Like there's a few of them I used to play games on YouTube when I first started a little bit. Um, if I can figure out how to, t well, those videos I don't have on my phone, but like the, the Mario Brothers one and the last two Mario Brothers one that I did the last two days, that's still on my phone. Uh, if I can figure out how to take that for on my phone and put it on Twitch, I'll do it. If it helps me on, hey, if it helps me on Twitch, you know, uh, why not? Uh, you know, because I am affiliated on Twitch, so I might as well freaking start making money, right? I've been affiliated almost a year on Twitch. And I hadn't made any money yet. Uh, I mean, the last time I checked, it was somewhere around like 25 bucks or something. But, I mean, you can't even cash out till you get 100 Um So, I don't know. But, yeah, if I had a cat, trust me. Trust me. If I had a cat, I would uh, I'd make the cats. But, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here rambling about YouTube when I'm on Twitch. Just, that's why ain't nobody left in here. They all disappeared on me. <laughs> hey, it's Mrs. Stoney. How you doing? Mrs. Stoney, the one that wears the pants in the family? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, Lane Day, how you doing? Who that? That's what I'm talking about. Who that? Just doing my chat. This is the kind of stuff I do on YouTube. You know, I'll flip on the camera, show my face, and talk. I'm kidding, Stoney. It's a joke. Don't kill me. My mouth gets me into trouble all the time. But hey, at least I know you're still listening. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, you know what they say. Behind every good man is a good woman. So I don't have that, but, <clears throat> you know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I got to figure out how to take my shorts from YouTube and put them on Twitch because I literally just took my Mario Kart NES game and I showed it on the phone and got 3,200 views on YouTube. Uh, dark. It's not raining. It's not raining right now. It was a little while ago. It's been freaking storming. Like, every freaking day, it's been storming here. Like, I don't get that. The only day it didn't storm, I think, was Wednesday. But it's been dark all day around here. Uh, yeah, Google Chrome did an update. I can't, I, I can download it, but, uh. Google Chrome has decided to, to do a weird update. Uh, they decided anytime you do a screenshot or you, or you save a picture, they connect it with your links. Um, I tried to post a link in my YouTube page, and let's just say it didn't go to my link. <laughs> um, at least it did for me. So I don't know. I got to figure out how to uncouple that, uh, what you call it. But... Um, Oh damn, Lane! My uh, my lights were out yesterday for about two hours, and then it came back on, and then it flickered off. It went off again for about another ten minutes. Um, now a couple of weeks ago, when it stormed, my lights did not go out at all. 
um, which is unusual because usually it does. Um, then again, it could be a sunny day and it'll go out. You know, with Cleco, you know, I'm guessing you you might have energy, but Cleco just no. <laughs> uh, and then you call up Cleco customer service and it's like you're talking you're talking to a robot, but it's like you're talking to a creepy robot. One time I called up. And they said, your lights will come back on in three, two, four, seven, six, five, four, two, three, four, seven. And it kept repeating for about five minutes. And then it hung up. And I went, okay, so they're telling me my lights are going to come on in about 900 years. Interesting. Um, when, my, when my lights go out, I can't get on the internet. Because I don't have Wi-Fi on my old phone. Uh, well, I can get on internet on my, on my uh, flip phone. But... If I'm on air for more than 15 minutes, it drains the battery. It makes it so hot. It's like I got a ticking time bomb. So, uh, yeah, I gotta get, I'm getting a new phone pretty soon, you know. Um, oh, I, You know what I noticed, too? I can't watch videos on YouTube, on Twitch anymore to get bits. I've been trying for the past month. So whatever bits I got left in the stash, I've been slowly giving it out to people. So once I hit zero, apparently there's no more bit given. Uh, so I'm trying to do it wisely because I only got like 200 and something left in the stash when I had, when I had like 900 at one point. Because you get between five and 100 bits every time you're watching an ad. I don't know if Twitch discontinued that or what, but... They're not letting me watch free ads to give bits to people anymore, which is stupid because uh, I'm not paying for bits because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. Uh, I, I'd rather just give people the money directly than pay 40 cents on a dollar for an imaginary bit. Uh, yeah, I was on your stream the other day, Lane, until my lights went out. That's why I disappeared because the lights went out. I was on your stream and then poof. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, well. Lights went out, and then and that was that. But, um, yeah, I remember, you know, chatting on, uh, this is what I do on YouTube. I just chat and bullshit, and I'll get 20, 30 people on there sometimes just bullshit. But I'm not monetized on YouTube because they love to take my hours away. Uh, it took me two weeks to get affiliated on Twitch. And if I would do the same effort on Twitch that I do on YouTube, I'd probably be making some money on Twitch. I don't really know. It, uh, it all depends. Look, I don't know how to do the, uh, uh, the emoji thing. I don't know how to do that crap. <laughs> um... I don't I don't know how to do the subscription thing either. Even though I got even though at one point I had like six people subscribe to me, I don't I'm like, well, I kept telling them I don't really know what you're doing. You're I, I don't really know how what you get. I have no idea. I don't have an emoji thing. I don't have a what you call it. Um but yeah, one time I had like six people subscribe in one month and I was like, okay. Which is pretty cool. I don't think anybody subscribed to me now, but, uh, you know, one day I'll figure out the Twitch land. Hell, I've been doing YouTube for four years. I still ain't figured out the YouTube rules yet because <laughs> <clears throat> they, they keep changing it. Uh, I actually saw a thing when I logged on today that said something about channel promotion that stated on Twitch, your mods can guess your channel promotions. I guess the points, like, I guess if you want to scratch your ass for 500, if somebody guesses that, then you get that. But if you're wrong, Twitch demods you from that channel. That's what I got from that, so I don't know. The draft, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to listen to it on the radio. I want the Saints to draft Mac Jones, but <laughs> that probably won't happen. And then, uh... Mike Dettelier seems to think that we might draft that kid from Ole Miss. 
or he might still be there. You know, the kid that took a that the kid that that thought he was the fire hydrant from Ole Miss. <laughs> uh, he's a hell of a cornerback. So Saints need cornerback. Hell, Saints need to just draft. You know what the Saints need to do? They just need to keep trading down. Saints need to draft. The Saints need about 500 draft picks. And uh, they, we need to start trading people that suck. Unfortunately, the Saints keep re-signing them, like P.J. Williams. Like uh, Every year he sucks and he gets re-signed. I, 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 you know, because, you know, $250,000, all right, why not? We should have kept Jackrabbit, but obviously with the salary cap, the damn, the damn Chinese flu, the salary cap went down. If it wasn't for the Chinese flu, we would have been able to keep goddamn Morstead and Jackrabbit. I mean, I already knew Trey Henderson was going to go. I, I mean, Trey Henderson was basically, uh, they were double teaming Cam Jordan. Somebody had to get sacks. Can't, Trey Henderson is not getting 13 sacks in, with the Bengals next year. I, that's not going to happen. Uh, Rankins disappeared, which I don't even remember where the hell rank out. Every team in the league has a Saints player on there. Oh, Coach O. Yeah, Coach O's in trouble. Good Lord. LSU scandal lately. Whew. Holy mackerel. I actually saw an article where the Saints might draft all LSU players this year. And I was like, you know what? Y'all should, we should have drafted LSU players last year and the year before that. Yeah, Jack Rabbit, he was getting paid like eight million bucks or some shit. Uh, the one player who we should have cut, the one player who is on this team right now. Now, I used to say Ken Crawley was trash, but he's still on the roster. He just doesn't do anything anymore. P.J. Williams, I never did like, and unfortunately, he's on the roster. But uh, the one person I want them to get rid of, oh, the Jets suck. Half the people that got that the Saints got rid of went to the Lions. And I, and I was telling this dude that follows the Lions on YouTube, I was like, there's no excuse why the Lions should suck this year. Y'all got all our damn players. If the Lions suck this year, it's because y'all suck ass. Y'all got all y'all got our assistant coaches, half of our assistant coaches. Y'all got like four of our players. You know, I ain't heard nothing about Morstead getting signed anywhere, but I'm pretty sure someone's gonna sign him. Um, but I ain't really kept up on my Saints page about that stuff lately. But um, you know, Morstead was a big blow. Um. And, you know, Drew retiring, that's a, you know. Oh, yeah, J Jared Cook can get the F out. I was saying all season, Jared Cook is why we didn't win that playoff game, in my opinion. Jared Cook got a pass thrown right in his goddamn hands. Whoops, the ball flew up in the air. Drew Brees threw three interceptions, two of those interceptions, because Jared Cook doesn't have stick on his hands. And the third interception, the third one was, I think one of those might have been Brees' fault. The other two was because he was throwing the cook, and one he, he threw a pass to Cook, he couldn't get it, and he threw a pass to uh, Traquan, who can't catch a cold. Uh, other than Michael Thomas, we ain't got nobody. We had Emmanuel Sanders. We got rid of him because he's too much money. Uh, he signed with the Texans, I think, or somebody. I don't. So many half the team signed. We lost like twenty something players. So. Um, and then good Lord, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about what's going to happen next year with, with, uh, with, um, what's his name? Cause I don't, I don't, I never did like his ass, but Hey, maybe he can prove me wrong, but, uh, maybe since he's got his eyes fixed, you know, Jameis, maybe he can actually do something. I'm not sold on Jameis. You know? <clears throat> yeah, uh, Blake uh, Griffin or Gillen or whatever his name is. He's been on the roster for two years. 
He, he's a good, he's a decent punter, but he's not Thomas Morstead. But then again, you know, he's been sitting back with Thomas for a while. But um, the one goddamn player the Saints need to get rid of, and I still don't know why they gave his ass. And well, no, well, Winston, I'm not sold on. I never was sold on Winston. You think about this. He's only signed to a one-year contract. If Winston has a big year, do you think he's going to stay with the Saints? Hell no. Somebody's going to throw his, him a shitload of money. And then they're sitting there talking about uh, Carolina might trade Teddy Bridgewater back to the Saints. For what? Teddy Bridgewater sucked ass a couple of years ago. The only reason we, he won anything is because of the defense. He had one game of 300 yards. All the other games are no. No, 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 no. Winston signed for $12 million. One five million, it was twelve million for one year. I don't know where that five million number kicks in, but uh it's five million guaranteed. But overall he signs for twelve million if he hits all his goals, which he probably will, because obviously we all know Taysom's not gonna get the starting quarterback job. He only got it last year because it was written into his contract that if Breeze went down, he had to start. Or they would have had to pay him a shitload of money. Uh, which, obviously, the Saints did anyway. Which, that four-year, $140 million. But they're not paying him all that money. That was just a thing to stretch out the contract to save con save space, which they did. They saved like $7 bucks or something. He's getting paid the same amount of money. Yeah, but he's probably going to get the $12 million in full. Look, let's just face it. Jameis is going to be the starter. They're saying a quarterback competition. We all know that Jameis is going to be the starter, which I don't agree with. I think they should give it to Taysom Hill. Uh, maybe, hey, hey he'll prove, maybe he'll prove me wrong. Jameis Winston reminds me of Aaron Brooks. I don't know why. That could be a good thing. It could also be a bad thing. I, I, Aaron Brooks I just didn't like because when a man throws the ball backwards and starts laughing, you know, I mean, I haven't thought about Aaron Brooks in years, but um, yeah, the one person the Saints need to get rid of, and they can't get rid of him because they signed him to a big ass contract. And you already know who I'm talking about. I don't even have to mention his name because there's not one Saints fan that I know of who likes this man in the first place. He is a single reason why Drew Brees got hurt last year, in, in my opinion, because he can't block worth a shit. And the Saints give him a shitload of money, and he doesn't know how to block. He knows how to grab. But, uh... And if it wasn't for his big-ass contract, because no one's going to take that kind of money for a play that sucks, so... I was praying when the Saints were getting rid of players, they would have gotten rid of Andreas Pete. I was praying. I was on my knees praying, please get rid of his ass. But then I looked at his contract. He's owed something like $70 million or $60 million over the next three, four years. And ain't nobody going to do that. Aaron Brooks sucked ass. Look, 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 look. You know Deuce, Deuce Winham sits here and tells me that Aaron Brooks was a great quarterback. Okay, Aaron Brooks had one good year when we went to the playoffs. One good year. He's with the Saints five, six years. He ain't did shit with the Saints. One good year. This is an analyst who tells me that Aaron Brooks is better than Archie Manning in his prime. And I sit here and tell you, you put Archie Manning on the 2000 Saints and he would have won the goddamn Super Bowl. I'm telling you, Deuce Winham going to sit here and tell me that Aaron Brooks is a god. And I'm like, what? You you do know we had Drew Brees for the last 15 years. Like, you do realize that. There's never going to be another Brees. And I think Brees could have played one more year. I I, I just kind of think he let it up to his family and, you know, shit. Well, that means he ain't going to block again. Andres Pete's got to stop getting hurt. He was good at one point. At one point, he was good. 
It's just like years ago when the Saints gave all that money to Jerry's Bird because he had one good year. And then what happened? He sucked ass. Uh, same thing with another guy. I can't remember who else. The Saints gave a big ass contract. Uh, the Saints gave a big ass contract to Junior Gallette. He but he turned into an asshole. Remember him? I met him in person. He was a nice guy, and all of a sudden he got all this money and decided he was an asshole. He always was an asshole. It's just it didn't come out until he got paid. Once he got paid, he's like, "Fuck this! I'll do what I want." He still he still talks shit on Twitter about the Saints. He's been banned like five times. He still talks shit on the Saints. He's he last year he put a voodoo curse on the Saints. He goes, "As long as I'm alive, the Saints aren't winning the playoff game." And then we won. Then we won last year. I think that's why Drew retired because what happened last year. I I think Drew won. You see. There's them reports out there that if Drew would have retired last year, we would have got Tom Brady. And Saints fans are pissed because we would have won a Super Bowl. I don't know if the Saints would have won a Super Bowl with Tom Brady or not. Uh, I, I, damn, I know damn well we got a better team than the Bucks. I know that for a fact. Hey, it's been a while since I got that spam. Yeah, Gallette went crazy. Been a long time since I got one of those spam uh, spam uh, messages. <laughs> I must be popular again. Well, we'll uh, where's it at? Hold on. Uh, I can never find my. Did uh, Stony block it? Okay, good job, Stony. I usually don't get those spam messages. I can't block them on my, uh, what you call it. I mean, I can, but it's kind of difficult. Yeah, well, it's been probably a year since I got one of those spam things. But, hey, guess what? I'm already famous. I ain't need, I don't have to buy viewers or followers or any of that other shit. <laughs> Hell with that. This person don't know I got to this person don't know my YouTube status. Come on now. One day I'm going to rule the world. So I I just hate bots. I hate them. Twitch is good for a lot of things, but they just don't care about bots. Um but uh Let me check my Mario uh Mario uh, video. I had a Mario video that got 3,200 views on YouTube. Seven picks? I thought it was six. See, I, have, I haven't kept up on my Saints Twitter page in about, a, about two months. So I got to go back and uh, check all that stuff out. Let me see. Because uh, we got stripped the sixth round pick. I think what the Saints ought to do, except for the first round and possibly the second, is trade after the third round, trade down. Get as many draft picks as you possibly can because we need to get all that depth. We need to, all the depth we lost, we need to get rid of. Tuh. Yeah, I used to work at Walmart. Ugh. Yeah, tell me something about that place. That was the worst three years of my damn life. They wanted to own me. It's like, you don't own my life. They call me up when I'm off and say, what did you do with this yesterday? Leave me alone. I am off. I can care less about Wally World. Ask me what I did with so-and-so tomorrow when I go to work. <laughs> they used to call me up. all. I mean, they paid me for it, but it's like they keep me on the phone for 30 minutes. By that time, I said, do y'all just want me to come in and like clock in for five minutes and show you where the shit had, show you what I did yesterday? Do I have to draw you a diagram? Are y'all that stupid? I'd keep them on the phone for 45 minutes because they got to pay you. I'd put, I'd put the phone down. You know, I never really I never really figured out how to do Discord. I, I, I'm in a Discord with somebody, but it won't let me... Uh, it won't let me do my name. It says click here for your account to change your name, and it won't let me do it. And 
it always puts me in as guest member or weird numbers or I can't get the hang of Discord. But uh, I want the Saints to draft Mac Jones. If they can't get Mac Jones, draft that kid from Ole Miss. The one who took a piss on a fire hydrant, draft his ass. And if they can't draft his ass, draft a linebacker. Because we need linebacker and we need cornerback, 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 cornerback. Uh, since Drew's retired, we don't need no more offensive line. The only reason the Saints would draft an offensive line is because of Drew. Jameis Winston can take care of himself. That He can run. So, offensive linemen are gone. We don't. I was going to look up how many draft picks we have. I have no idea how many draft picks we have because I haven't kept up. You might be right with the seven. I ain't worked for Walmart in about 10 years. So I don't know. <clears throat> I talk about the Saints son and Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman ain't got nothing left in the tank. But uh, the Saints son, Richard Sherman, I'll be a little bit happy, but he'll have to take a minimum contract. But I don't really know. All right, let's see. The Saints have... I mean, you might be right here. Let's see. No, the Saints have... Well, I don't know if this is accurate or not. According to NewOrleansSaints.com, they got 10 draft picks, I think. But they took away a sixth-round draft pick. So how do we still got a sixth-round draft pick? Oh, that's comp... Okay, we got... According to this, it says we got one, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we got three comp picks. We got, uh, okay, round one, round one, 28, round two, 28, which is 60 overall. Round three, comp pick, number 98. Round three, 42, 105, it's a comp pick. Round four, number 133. Round six, 218 is a comp pick. Because they did strip us of a six. Round seven we got from the Jaguars. I don't really know why. And then round seven. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight draft picks. Yeah, according to this, we got eight. Uh we would have had none, but they they yeah, we we only we only had five. And then we got three up. Next year we got um I think next year we're going to get six draft picks, six comp picks. I remember back for 10 years, the Saints never got a comp pick, never got a draft pick. I mean, comp pick because we never lost anybody. Uh, we got a draft pick because Fontenot was a trader and went to the Falcons. Uh, I think we got a draft pick because Dan Campbell went to the Lions and we got a draft pick because we lost – uh, either Jack Rabbit or Trey Henderson or one of those. That's why we got a draft pick. Got hit twice for COVID, twice for the Chinese flu. All these other teams don't get don't get picked up for this shit. I mean, the Raiders get hit, obviously, because the NFL hates the Raiders and they hate the Saints. All these other goddamn, the Pittsburgh Steelers and all these others were dancing with no mask on. What Nothing happened to their asses. New England was dancing. Scam Newton was dancing with no hat, practically no clothes on dancing in the locker room. Nobody did shit to him. Um, you know, it's a bunch of bullshit. Roger Goodell just needs to retire and go away. I'm sorry. I don't care who's the commissioner after Goodell. It's just that ain't going to be him. But, um, 
Yeah, they got they they got a sixth round. They had to forfeit a sixth round draft pick. It was uh, also seventh. First, it was a seventh. So really, we could have twelve draft picks right now, more than likely. But uh, back in the day, the comp picks couldn't be drafted. Now they can be drafted. So what I think is, I know what Sean Payton's probably going to do. He's probably going to start trading three draft picks for one player because of the salary cap. But I think what they should do is, you know, uh, he had a Rooney rules a bunch of crap because the NFL don't even follow their own rules. They don't. They're supposed to. They're supposed to. They're supposed to interview uh, African American, at least one, and you know hire them, which I think they should in most cases. But they, they don't. And uh, yeah, we got one because Fontenot went to the uh, Falcons. Oh, that's fine, Saints fan. We were just sitting here bullshitting, you know, whatever. But. Uh, yeah, Saints got eight draft picks, according to this. But uh, Saints ought to get rid of Andres Pete. Trade his ass. Trade his ass now. Why in the hell does it send me to the NFL.com? I don't want to go to NFL.com. I hate that damn site. That site sucks. But uh, check my Mario video. That sucker needs to get more views. <laughs> more views. Uh, it's got. Uh, it's still at thirty one ninety one. Maybe my other Mario video tonight will kick in, and uh, I'll wake up in the morning. It'll have like twenty seven million views. You know, but I'm gonna start streaming more on Twitch. I'm gonna make it fifty fifty. I'm still trying to get monetized on YouTube, but I'm still trying to do whatever. It's just when I sit here and play game when I play games on Twitch, I don't get many people watching. It's just when I'm talking. And sometimes I do, you know, I've turned my cam on Twitch before. It's just I don't feel like it today, but I've done it before. Um Oh, got your message on Twitch. Um, yeah, because that, that's how they got the... That how, they found the Chinese flu in the Superdome, so that's why they had to stop everything. Tell you what, can't trail all the reason. That woman is just... You know, I, I, you know I, I'm convinced that can't trail... I, I'm 100% convinced that Atlanta paid her to become the mayor of New Orleans. Because every she's again she's anti Saints, she's anti LSU. She 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 goes to the Bahamas for three months and tells everybody to wear a mask when she's not wearing a mask in the Bahamas, getting getting lap dances from from 18 year old dudes or whatever she's doing in the Bahamas. I don't know. She's on she. You know, she got elected by stealing people's money in the first place. Both people that ran stole everybody's money. That ought to be disqualification right there. You know, the idiots in New Orleans are going to reelect her ass when she's up for re-election. Sadly. I don't think they should. She's done a terrible job, but I'm not, I'm not a voter in New Orleans, so I don't have a say-so. But she's done a terrible job. She pretty much told the Saints, "Eh, don't play New Orleans. I don't give a shit." She told New Orleans, She told us. She told Gail Benson pretty much, "Eh, go to Baton Rouge. That's fine. We'll let Saints fan that deal don't expire till June." Yeah, they already struck a deal with with Harris. It's going to be called Caesar Caesar's Palace International Superdome. It's not official yet, but they already struck a deal with them. 20, 20 years, 200 million bucks. But yeah, Mercedes Benz comes off the Superdome uh, June, either June 1st or July 1st. I want to say it's June 1st. And that'll be 10 years. Good riddance, Mercedes Benz. Because I'm sick and tired of talking about it. You know, these owners are too greedy. They ought, I, I, they ought to go back to Louisiana Superdome. But 
Thank God they're not calling it the Smoothie King Dome. I I'm just grateful that it's not, you know. Yeah, Caesars is the parent company of uh, Harris. Harris, uh, you know, which my friend, my friend's trying to get a job at Harris. Uh, his cleanup crew. I think he's actually taking less money, but he swears it's not, so I don't really know. <clears throat> but yeah, they're, they're gonna call it Caesars International uh, Superdome or some shit like that. Caesars Entertainment. Might as well call it Little Caesars at this point. Uh, there was a porn website that was going to give the Saints like $15 million a year for five years to put their name on a Superdome. And, and then apparently the Saints don't want to take it. It would be more money. You know, the owners are greedy. Oh, but they got, they apparently they got uh, conscious. They got uh, cla moral clauses. Oh, we can't take money from strip clubs. We can't whore out the stadium like that. Well, you know. I don't care. Ten million bucks a year, really. Ten million bucks is what they got now, and ten million is what they're gonna get later. Well, that was the joke when 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 they were gonna they were gonna name it the Smoothie King. Yeah, Smoothie King Center is like that ugly. P I, you know, I liked it when it was the New Orleans Arena. It was lime green piece of shit, but it was ours, right? So, um, yeah, but the naming rights end in, uh, I think it's June 1st or June 4th or something like that. So they got another two, three months and no more Mercedes Benz because them assholes are traitors. They went and signed with the fail cans, you know, um, but honestly, all they're getting is $10 million a year. So they sell their souls for $10 million. If I'm putting naming rights on a stadium, I'm wanting like $20 or $30 million a year. $10 million. Are you serious? I mean, the Saints are worth a billion dollars, and they're going to sit here and sell their soul for $10 million. Good Lord. I, I think they might, they might as well call it... Uh, they might as well call it the uh, Atlanta Falcons Suck Ass Superdome. I mean, I'd be happy with that name. I don't care what they call it. I, I barely ever say Mercedes-Benz in the first place. I always call it the Superdome. Um, it's a bunch of crap. It really is. I mean, to be perfectly honest, why in the ass would you, would you, why, would it, why in the ass would you do that? Like, I don't get it. Never could. Shit. I'll give them a I'll give them a dollar. Why don't they name it the Field Guy Superdome? Hell, let's do that. Shit. I'll give them a dollar a day. For the next uh 87 years in a row. Or however long I got left on this planet. So they'll at least get a few cents from me. Because any more anything more than a dollar. Then you know I, I can't uh, I can't afford that shit. But uh, um, you know, but uh, there's this stupid ass YouTube channel, which uh, I don't want to give the name of that channel because I ain't giving them assholes recognition. But they did a video, you know, the failure of the Falcons, which is good. The failure of the Vikings. They did a video the fal the the failure of this league and this league. Then they did one the failure of Drew Brees and how the Saints are going to suck for the next twenty years the Drew Brees curse. And I'm like, I I emailed this guy and I said, you ain't a football fan. You, you how how the Saints wasted all those years of Drew Brees. And I said, we didn't waste shit. I said we should have won four Super Bowls. The NFL fucked us over at least three times in a row. It's not that we wasted anything. Last year, they were, okay, last year, they were just going to give it to Tom Brady no matter what. I mean, because there's no way. The Packers should have beat him. We should have beat him. There's just, the NFL was just going to give it to Tom Brady no matter what anyone did or said. And they're probably going to do it this year, too. You know? Um, it's, it's a bunch of crap. 
It could. We ought to name it Atlanta Sucks Ass Stadium. No. Name it Arthur Blank Stadium. And then and everybody says, why do we name it Arthur Blank? Because we own the rights to it. We own the we own the naming rights. <laughs> yeah, 328. Woo, it was a lovely day. I uh, I forgot to put the memes out on uh, on my Saints Twitter page, but uh, well, I haven't been on there in a while. My friend don't post, so if anybody actually posted, I'd be shocked. He don't ever fool with Twitter. It's probably been a month and a half since I posted on there. That's probably the last thing that's on there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the thing is, I'm po- I'm I'm running all my friends' fan pages, and it's like he wants all the money, and I'm like, I don't know. That's why I don't do my YouTube uh, Saints fan page anymore because I'm not going to bust my ass and get that sucker monetized where he gets all the money. That ain't going to happen. You know, you need to contribute a little bit to get your pay, right? I mean, if I was an asshole, I could just change it, lock him out, but I'm not going to. I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't do that at all. But I'll probably post something on there for the draft. And, of course, on the Twitter, I'll do the draft and – and uh, and whatnot, but yeah, twenty eight to three stadium. Yeah, I'd do that. I'd uh, shit. I honestly think we should call it the Drew Brees Stadium. And that you know they got Lee Circle that's still sitting there. Uh, there's a petition going around that Drew it should be called Drew Brees Circle. Why not? Of course, the city council said, oh, you can't name somebody after a living person. Why not? Rules are made to be broken. For all, for, for everything that Drew Brees has done for this city and continues to do for the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana, why not give him a statue? Why not? You got you got, a, you got the statue of Robert E. Lee that's gone, that's sitting in a warehouse somewhere. You got a, you got a pedestal that's just sitting there for a couple of years. Why not? Why not? You got the space. Why not make it Drew Brees Circle? Or or, or somebody else. Uh, uh, give it to somebody that's deserving. I don't know. There's probably a million dead people in the past from the state of Louisiana. Give it to one of them. You know. And you don't have to give it to anybody with, with, with uh, the Civil War or anything, this and that. Because in this PC world. You know, they're going to, whatever. Yeah, they should, but they're not going to do that. Because then Drew Brees would have to pay $20 million, $10 million a year, which he can afford. But, yeah, they're not going to. NFL would never approve that. But uh, Brees Circle, doesn't it have a ring to it? I mean, the damn thing's still sitting there. You might as well. Uh... You know, what they ought to do really is that they don't want to give it to Drew Brees. They ought to make it Marie Laveau, right? We need to honor her some way. You know, st- put make it. You know, then again, in this PC world, they'll probably try to tear that down too. You know, thank God those bastards ain't torn down Andrew Jackson's statue. They've been trying. The day they tear down the Andrew Jackson statues, the day. It's the day New Orleans goes into chaos. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, you got all these platforms everywhere from the old Confederate st- uh, statues. You might as well make something positive out of it, name it, after pl- name it after people that's been famous. You know? I mean, well, we already got Louis, Louis Armstrong in the National. We already got something named after him. I mean, uh... There are plenty of, of dead people for, that, that had to do with stuff with New Orleans. I mean, name it after one of them. You know? I mean, it's just sitting there. Might as well. But I told that guy, he's got something like 37,000 signatures. I told that guy, I emailed him and I said, you can have 37 million signatures. They're not going to do it. Um, they rather just let that thing sit there 
and and and, and be empty. Um, they don't even call it. I still call it Lee Circle, so I really don't even care. But the beauty part is, if you name it Breeze Circle, it's basically the same thing. Sounds like Lee, basically. Um, you know what? They ought to just put. They ought to put a statue of me up there. Hell, they won't even have to change anything. They can. They can. They can keep it Lee Circle if they want. I mean, that's not my first name, but um, they you know throw a statue of me up there. Why the hell not? I'm a Saints fan. Shit. After I'm dead anyway, somebody needs to memorialize my ass, right? I mean, I'd rather rather be rather be a normal person than some, you know. Uh, they, they put somebody up there. They didn't see when Mitch Landry took all the statues down. They didn't have any plan. He just wanted to do it. And he wasn't even getting reelected at the time. He just said, I want to do it. It's like apparently for all these years, there was nothing wrong with the situation. Now all of a sudden, oh, now you got to take it down. Well, why is it offensive all of a sudden? If if it was it's, if it's offensive now, it was offensive then. And nobody fooled with it then. So, no. Freaking, it, it, it is... Retarded as hell. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to set my clock to wake up at ten, eleven o'clock, so I can watch Stony play some football tomorrow. But you know, Stony's got to get that Taysom Hill card and that Drew Brees card. And then he'll start winning some games. I, you, you're not going to lose with Taysom Hill on one side and Breeze on the other. I mean, there is a YouTuber who always seems to lose. He's got a Saints theme team, and he always loses. And I'm like, and then he takes everybody else's theme team and lose the, loses with them. And I sent him an email, and I said, you know... His channel, his channel is like a copycat channel. This guy that I follow on YouTube, I can't remember the guy. It starts with a C. I can't remember the guy's name. He's got like 3,000 subscribers. He's trying to copy MMG and KKS. Sound effects. I even told him, I said, dude, you're basically copycatting two of the big YouTubers and just mixing their shit together and just... I mean, it's it's okay to to incorporate one with the other. I get that, but if you're trying to do an exact clone of of, of a YouTuber, it's not going to work. They're not going to watch your shit because they're. I, the first time I saw this guy, I realized, well, shit, he's copying everybody else. You got to be you. You got to be original. Yeah, you can take details from others and then incorporate it, but when you're using the same exact sound effects. He's using the same exact sound effects from MMG. He's using the same pictures that Kay does. And I'm sure he's got another YouTuber in there. Madden YouTuber. He puts it all together. And, and I'm like, you're not doing anything original. Not one time. I even told him that. He responded to me. He was like, oh, no, I'm. this is all original. I said, well, no, it's not. Have you ever watched those YouTubers? I, and I'm sure they all copy each other at some point, but it becomes too generic. When you tune into somebody, you want to see something new. You don't want to see the same old rethread and the same old shit and the same old, you know. So that's when Stoney plays. Stoney Lou gets his ass kicked and he yells. It's like, good. When he wins, it's okay, too. But, you know, Stoney puts more Saints players on his team. He's not going to lose as much. I'm telling you, there's a strike. See, a lot of the Madden YouTubers and a lot of the Madden Twitch players, I know why they lose. It's simple. They keep, they don't run the clock. See, that when I play, I will run the clock down to one second every time. It might piss people off. You see, here's a key. You got the ball and you're running the ball. They're not going to get the damn ball until the second quarter. 
and then you score a touchdown, you hold them on defense, you get the ball back in the second half, half the game, three quarters of the game is already gone, you're up by a touchdown. I mean, yeah, my my strategy is very, very simple. All right, see, I, I could give you my strategy because it's not like I'm going to play anybody online. My strategy is I run the goddamn ball on first down. I run the ball on second down. I run the clock down. Third down is when I pass. Fourth down, I punt, unless it's like fourth and one or fourth and two. I don't sit here and go for it on fourth and 73. You're you're pretty much just asking to lose. Um. A lot of these YouTubers and Madden players, they go for it on 4th and 73, and, and then they get pissed and they throw the controller. Well, not, you are not going to get that shit anyway, unless you throw a Hail Mary or a pass interference. You're not Donovan McNabb. You're, you're not going to get that shit. So a lot, of these, a lot of these Madden players play stupid. What they should do is run the clock down. You might piss off the other player and actually get an easy W. That's fine. But run the clock down. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And it, it just depends. But when they sit here and go, oh, we got to gotta get up to the line. Gotta, why? Why do you got to get up to the line? I mean, if you're winning it's like 7 to nothing, and you're going into the third quarter and then you go up 14 and nothing, and you're in the fourth quarter, why are you passing the football? I'm sitting here and, and dropping a knee. I'm running the clock out. I'm not worried about running the score up. Unless it's against the Falcons, then I'll run the score up. I have no problem with that. But when you're when you're like up by four touchdowns and you're still throwing the ball and you're throwing interceptions and then that four touchdown lead goes down to one touchdown and you're sweating balls, yeah, it's it's time to like just kneel the ball and 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 yeah, and, and and just do stuff like that. But plus, I like to run a lot of trick plays. I don't care if it's the wildcat. I don't care if it's the reverse. Reverses don't usually work. Wildcat works a lot, but some people, the good Madden YouTubers, know it. It it. it did. But you don't want you don't run a wildcat with the quarterback because obviously, if you're going to have Michael Vick or or, or uh, Jackson. Chances are you're running that handoff power quarterback power, which is what Taysom does. Quarterback power. Everybody knows he's going to do it. They just can't stop him. The only problem with Taysom is he fumbles too goddamn much. So, but, um, and I like when Madden does these out of position players. You know, the Roethlisberger's the punter. Why the hell not? You know, you got your strong safety playing quarterback. Why not? It's fun. Make up a team, kind of do shit, kind of. Man is unexpected. Nobody is going to think you're going to run a trick play every goddamn play. No one. See, if you play outside the box, you're going to frustrate somebody, piss them off, and they're going to get frustrated and they're going to quit. And that's going to, you'll, you'll do this 20 times a day, you'll get 20 wins. I mean, it's not, it's not the ideal goal to make people quit. I mean, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's all about patience. You don't have to sit there and throw a Hail Mary every goddamn play. You don't have to throw in the triple coverage. You know, you can run the football. You don't have to do a, 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 a quarterback draw with, 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 you know, everybody gets Michael Vick and everybody gets Lamar Jackson because they want to run. Or they get Cam Newton or whoever the hell's running. Whoever's the top running quarterback. I don't know. Um, maybe they get Mahomes. You know, you don't need a you don't need to run the ball at the quarterback 75 times. Uh you know, play decent offense. The, 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 the keys to winning in Madden is very simple. Run the clock. Uh score if you can. Play defense and block. You're going to win most of the time. But see, when I used to play online against these people, I would win a lot of games because I, I, and I'm not trying to piss anybody off. I would sit there and just run the clock down to one, and people get so frustrated. They'd be like, hey, you asshole, you playing? No, I'm not playing in your game. You playing in mine. You know? 
Now, when I'm losing, I'm not running the clock down because when I'm losing, I'm then I'm playing catch up. See, when I lose, I don't run the ball either. I'm pass, 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 and then I'll when they think I'm passing, then I'll run a halfback draw and I'll mix it up the middle. Uh, you gotta outthink these people. I'm not saying I'm the best Madden player in the world. Far from it. I know I'm not the worst. But I think my record on Madden back in the day, last time I played Madden, I think it was something like, I think I had like 375 wins. I had like 40 losses or some shit like that. And it's basically because a lot of people don't like the way I play and they quit and they get frustrated and they call me an asshole. Whatever. Hey, you look, you quit, therefore I won. So I got under your skin. But everybody wants to do 500 passing plays in the first quarter. It's like chess. You got to think what you're going to do. You just can't say, okay, I'm going to throw a Hail Mary. Hope he catches it. No, because you're going to throw it in. It's stupid. Why go for it on fourth and 73? I mean, that's ludicrous. You're not going to make it. You might as well run in the back of the end zone and give him a safety and then punt at that point. Um, You might as well pooch punt it. If it's third and 62, you might as well punt it. Because you're not going to get 62 yards on fourth down. Uh, unless you throw a Hail Mary, maybe. Um, in that situation, though, if you throw a Hail Mary and it gets picked off at like the three-yard line, that's basically a punt. So in terms like that, maybe it might be good. But if you're down two touchdowns, if you're down three touchdowns in the fourth quarter, you got no chance. But if if it's like zero to zero in the first quarter and it's fourth and 73 and you're going for it, then you're, you're just doomed to lose. You're not going to win. Uh, I, I I don't I don't generally understand what uh, you know. I think I put everybody to sleep. No one's been talking in the last thirty minutes. I put everyone to sleep. I have accomplished my goal. I don't know what goal it was, but I clearly I clearly accomplished it. I I, I seriously do not know what it is. Um. But, um, yeah, it's just, uh, you got to have strategies when playing. You got to have, you got to think ahead. You got to think, you know, because I sit here and I watch some of these people and I, uh, I don't know. I never get it. It just drives my ass up a wall that a lot of these players, I think they just want to... Oh, no. What? Oh, YouTube got rid of my magic button. and Mother bastards. YouTube's always getting rid of my buttons. They got rid of my think button. Mm -mm -mm. But, um, yeah. So I've pretty much just rambled talking to myself for about the last 45 minutes on strategy that no one really gives a shit about, but that's okay. Um, it's, uh, it is what it is. You know, um... At least I had a few people in here today. Last stream, I did three hours. I had no one in here. So, but usually when I do my talking videos, I'll get I'll get a fair amount of people. Um, hmm. I actually lost two subscribers on on this uh, stream. So, man, eh, two followers doesn't really mean much because. Probably the person that, that unfollowed me on Twitch probably wasn't following me to begin with. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, they're, they're fake followers on, on Twitch anyway. You know, it's same thing on YouTube. Fake, fake subscribers. Same thing. Sub for sub. Doesn't work. Follow for follow. Doesn't work. Yeah, you'll get a few people. Um, 
let you know. Uh, well, I think I'm going to wrap this up when, uh, when I start talking to myself, then I kind of know it's done, but I should do this real fast. Ha 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 Say I, um, gotta make that cash, gotta make that stash. And I only ran two ads today on, on, on Twitch. I, uh, I really should have ran about five ads, and I'm slacking. Every 20 minutes, you can run an ad on Twitch. Well, I've been streaming for an hour and a half as of right now. So that's four ads I should have ran, and I only ran, this is only the second ad I ran on Twitch. And you only get like, I don't know, three cents an ad or some shit. You don't get a whole lot. You don't, you don't make a whole lot of money. But, uh,. Every second counts, you know. Every second counts. So, uh, and uh, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Yes, I think we are. I don't know. Yeah, I got her. I every twenty minutes you run that ad, and uh, since it's the only kind of revenue I seem to get anymore on the uh, Twitch land. But um, I think I'll find somebody to raid. I don't know who right now. I'll see somebody on. Just, um, I don't. Let me see who's on. Now I have to run it. I mean, I have my other laptop open right now, but uh, I don't have it set on my. I'm not signed into my account on that one. I can't sign into the same account twice. You know, can't uh, can't do that. But I can see who's on and send it to someone, and I don't even know who I'm gonna send it to. You know. But uh, a couple times I didn't even read anybody. The last time I didn't read anybody because I was just like, mm. um. Let me see. Let me see who's on. Oh, here's somebody I haven't. Here's somebody I haven't. Uh, yeah, we'll go with him. I haven't been on his channel in a while. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all to Mr. Crawfish Killer Number Nine. Crawfish Killer Nine. Elderly, not elderly, but a gentleman who plays Call of Duty. I don't know who that. And uh, I haven't been on this channel in a while, so I figured I'd throw him some, you know, throw him, uh, throw him uh, some. He's got, hey, there's CM Pimp. Of course, I'm getting ready to end my stream, and he pops on, no doubt. Um, I've been talking to myself for the last, I don't know, 45 minutes. It happens, 30 minutes. Not much. I was sitting here. I just revealed my entire Madden strategy. And of course, when I say I'm getting ready to raid someone, everybody leaves my chat, which is nice. Uh, it's okay. I thought I shared it on Twitch, but I don't know. I don't know what shares on Twitch. I'll, I didn't feel like doing a YouTube stream today. So uh, maybe I'll do a YouTube and a Twitch. Maybe I'll do both. Tomorrow, I can sink it on both. Okay, you're here. Yeah, I know you're here. I, I, um, okay, well, maybe I'll hold off for, for raiding someone for a minute. That's fine. I guess I can. Um, well, I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube. I've been an affiliate on here forever. I actually lost a subscriber on YouTube, to, a follower on, on Twitch today. So, uh, I have that magic touch. I don't know what it is. I, I really haven't been on Twitch too much lately. I kind of got burnt out a little bit. It's just, I've been, I've been just YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I kind of been, um, you know, doing that. 
kind of stuff. But um, I did post I was going on YouTube, but I mean uh, Twitch, but nobody really pays attention to the uh, post most of the time on on you know some people do, but uh, I ran two ads. I should have ran four. So, um, but uh, I don't know. I just figure uh, maybe if you're streaming tonight, I'll jump on. I don't know. I'm just uh, I hadn't been really been on Twitch too much lately. Here and there, I'm on Twitch. I mean, now, like I've been affiliated on here for almost a year, but I don't have the viewers. YouTube, I got the viewers, but I'm not monetized, so it's like ass backwards here. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, I, I pretty much just pretty much did my whole Madden thesis on how, what I'm going to do and how I play in Madden and how, you know, how everything is and how I would defeat people and how I, you know, kids, you know, fourth and 73, you don't need to go for it. I'm just saying, but, um, but yeah, I was getting ready to hang it up because I'm hungry, number one. I mean, usually I'm on YouTube for three, four hours. I don't really, you know. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to go raid Mr. Crawfish. Even though I haven't seen him on my channel in a while. But uh, he's not a Madden person. He's a he plays Call of Duty. I don't really... Follow Call of Duty too much, but hey, he's a who that, and we gotta follow our who that nation. So, um, yeah, CM Pimp, I'll stream tomorrow on YouTube, definitely. Maybe I'll do a Twitch stream. I don't know. I can do it on both, it is possible, but the only problem with this is it's not gonna be logical, uh, mainly because. Two different audiences, I would have too much trouble keeping up because people go, Who the hell are you talking to? I don't see anybody. Who are you talking on that stream? I, see. I guess I could. You know, I might try it. Might as well. But yeah, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna send it to Mr. Crawfish Killer so I can get me something to eat. So I appreciate you see him popping in last few minutes, Stony. Lane Day, Saints Fan 361, Offensively Delightful. Y'all should follow that channel because he's Offensively Delightful, a.k.a. Stacks. And I think uh, Stamos was here briefly. I think that's it. I only got a few people in here today. So, um, so I'm going to send it off to Mr. Crawfish Killer. Um, so... I hope y'all stick around and go in his chat for a few minutes and uh, give him a subscribe or follow. And I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good night.